Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Trax, the train set game. So as a kid growing up, I always wanted two things. One of them was a bunk bed in my room and the other one was one of those wooden train sets. Like, oh, actually, sorry, that's one I made earlier. Hang on. But yeah, remember these wooden trains that had tracks that you could just like go around your table with? Do a little hill onto that bit of the table. Of course, do a bridge over the top. I mean, perhaps you are very ambitious and you want to go like over there all the way onto the bed. And then do a huge bridge over to the massive table that you've got in your bedroom for some reason. And then go around the pancakes. Oh man, man, they look really good, fair play. I'm more of a crepe man myself, but uh, that's making me want a pancake. And then with your little track built, maybe you then wanted to jump inside the train and actually drive it. Like, look at this, mind your head, blooming out. So you're coming out from under the table, dropping down here, then going up this slope. And look, we've, we've got a little whistle, so I imagine... Now we're up here. Oh, it's so cool. All right, pancakes up ahead. Um, I sort of need, I need like a pancake station or something. Man, I'm gonna, I can see myself spending a lot of time in here. Anyway, we're back down to the bottom. The train's gonna continue doing a loop. Let's get out of that. Look, there is the train on its way. But we can, we can do so much more. Look at this. We've got like buildings, got different trees and chickens. Aha, we've got we've got a platform as well, right? Let's grab a platform. And then this is going to be it's going to be the snooze platform. So that is on there. We're then going to want to come into passengers and oh man, there's all sorts of stuff. And I feel like being an engineer, surely I've got to go with a construction worker, right? So if I plop one down there, can I oh, I can plop them all down and they're all heading towards the platform. Okay, okay, let's let's make an army of engineers on the bed. I mean, it's not the usual territory for an engineer. They don't get a lot of sleep. But uh, what I love about this game, there's no limit. So you can literally, you can, you can stress test your PC with it. Like by setting up an auto clicker, that means every time I move, we're, we're, <laughs> we're pacing engineers. I've solved the engineering crisis. Right, so with all those guys in there. <laughs> oh, they've all got caches as well. Um, I think they're ready to board a train. Now, the trouble is our train, literally just a train. It doesn't have any carriages. Uh, and also, they, they don't actually have anywhere to go. So I probably need to do another platform somewhere. I mean, perhaps they could go to the upper level of the bed. Yeah, I think we'll put an entire station at the back here. So that can go there. And then we're going to have to use the brains of all of you guys to construct a bridge or something up to there. Um, and also, we probably want to make what we've got down here actually safe for, for passengers to use. I'm not going to lie, this bridge at the moment looks a little bit architectured. So, in the construction tab, we have track supports. And that means we can literally do a bit of that. And then we actually have a bridge. We have stone arches. So, let's do a few more of those. All right, so that's good. That's good. You did a good job there, guys. Next up, we need to try and get up there. So, I'm seeing, I'm seeing shelves over that way. So perhaps down here, we could come off over there. Head under here. Through those. Do an S-bend like that. Swing around this bit. Now, we don't want to build in front of the door because if, if mum comes in, she's going to kill us. So if we do like that, we can finish on the radiator. Do a bridge over to that. We can then come over this corner onto this little table-y thing. And directly over the pancakes. And then we're finally at the level where we're on top of this table. Meaning we can start to head upwards. And then we're on the shelves. So we've made it to on top of the door frame. So we can go across there. That is beautiful. Along this edge of the bed. And we're finally at the station. And then we can go back on our way. Now, what I'm thinking, though, I might shove a turntable. S-bend into that. And then this one can go straight through the railings. And then head up this side. Over the window. So, man, this would literally have been, like, my dream bedroom, honestly. Oh, no. Oh, no. The level is a lot bigger than the actual room. Still, we'll go under this bit of furniture. And under the bed. And then I'm building, I'm building a road. <laughs> which means I can build like a little town with like lampposts and buildings. And even a little fence under there. And I can put a car or two down. Post van outside the post office. And then turn this roundabout into a pig prison. And put one under there as well for good luck. All right, over here I'm going to use the corkscrew twist to uh, wrap around this balloon. That is lovely. Yeah, we'll just do a few of these. And apparently those engineers are very talented because we are having no trouble just going straight up. I mean, the bedroom's looking quite small from up here. Is there a limit? Oh, it's been 45 minutes since my last save. I wouldn't want to waste all this progress. Thank you for reminding me, game. You know what? I think it's safe to say there probably isn't a limit. <laughs> Look how small my bedroom is. 
Yeah, that's something I want to do while we're up here. I want to I want to see. Is there a limit to those stone bridge support pieces? Ooh, the game doesn't seem to like that very much. Anyway, that's not going to stop me putting it in. Because look at that. Right, so I'm just going to make my way down to the bottom. It's, <laughs> it's a lot higher than I thought, actually. Oh, no, the stones disappeared. Oh, so there was a limit on them. Now we're down the bottom with our pig prison. I'm going to grab another train. I'm going to shove it on this track facing that direction. That is train two. I'm going to paint this one. Yeah, probably a nice pink and green. I like that. We can make it sort of faded looking or go all out brightness. We want to start here, really. I think we want to pick up all these passengers. So if we start giving it carriages and sort of see the train over that way. Oh, the other train's behind us. He can't get past. But you can see there's passengers boarding the train. I'm trying to reverse. That train won't let me reverse. Okay, so we're going to have to go forwards. But yeah, look, there's our passengers. There's our passengers. Oh, we're going, <laughs> we're going down. All right, so we're going to give it a lot more carriages. Then we're going to stop the train, let people board. All right, so there you go. Everyone's getting on board. Nice. All aboard, engineers. <laughs> I wonder how many carriages I actually need to, to pick up all those engineers from earlier. Anyway, my train's so long, I can't actually see what's going on back there. Into about there, so we can admire the pancakes. The, the texture and detail on that pancake is insane. There you go. We've got a view of the of the carriages. You can actually see we filled up loads of carriages. Sweet. Starting to feel like I should have put a longer platform in. Not going to lie. But uh, look at all the engineers. <laughs> see, if this was my actual commute to work, I would have loved commuting to work. Unfortunately, the platform bit was more close to the truth, not the train bit. All right. Oh, i got to stop. i got to stop. We're on a hill. I don't have the power to stop. No, we've got empty carriages. We have to do another lap. All right, well, how many? Oh, there's still so many people. Okay, well, we'll keep adding carriages then, I guess. I got a bad feeling about this. I don't think the game likes this. I really don't think the game likes this. Right, okay, where's... <laughs> oh, there's the front. Oh, you haven't derailed, have you? All right, let's reset. All right, where's it gone? Oh, my, my frames have gone. My frames have gone. All right, there's the train. There's a carriage or two. Oh, we got frame rate. We have frame rate. Uh, looking at the engineer's faces, something doesn't look quite right here. Still, let's drive and see what ha- Oh, no, the frame's gone. Oh, oh, we're off. We are off. All right, so they're off. The engineers are away. Around the balloon. Okay, so they're good. They're good. They should just continue their journey um, all the way up. The oh, it's so <laughs> I didn't realize how long it was. Anyway, let's head up to the top and then we'll go wait for them, I guess. Right, you can see red bar, we're on full power. I'm not actually sure we have enough power to pull all these carriages and engineers. Some of you have been eating too much lunch. But uh, this is pretty slow and I think it's going to take quite a while to get to the top. So I'm going to head up there and I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking up the top. Oh, and look, now I've got like halfway up. You can see you can see the stone comes back in. That's cool. Because that means we're finally ready for a bridge review. A huge stone railway. High up in the air of a kid's bedroom, it features extremely tall stone arches and requires a huge corkscrew spiral to get to the top. And look into my eyes. This is hypnotizing you. Sub to RCE. Buy merch. And the most important feature, if you zoom out far enough, this spiral sort of acts like a vertical loading bar so you can see when the train's going to get to the top. We're at about 3.5%. But the fact that once the railway is up here and the, the train car will be able to turn around and then head back down the corkscrew means I'm going to give this bridge a very glitchy 7.1 out of 10 bridge review. All right, so since that's taking so long to get up here, I might just I might just do a different train up the top. So train one, start point. I reckon let's shove it up here facing that direction. And we're going to give this one some cargo. Make this one yellow and black, and then I think we're ready to send it on its way. So let's get aboard the gravity's best mate. And uh, let's wang up the speed, and then we'll see what happens. This is going to make me feel sick, I think. So you can see it spiraling its way down, and it still has a very long way to go. <laughs> I thought it might actually be close, but it really isn't. Yeah, looking down the spiral, it's flying down there. Uh, sorry if you're still getting hypnotized, by the way. Uh, oh, no. No, it derailed. No, I think it went so quick that it derailed. All right, is my camera faster than gravity? Oh, look, look how perfectly like straight it's falling. I mean, it's still even at the speed of gravity. It still hasn't reached the pink one. 
which is still moving just very slowly. Anyway, here comes the yellow one. Oh, oh, what the frig? What? <laughs> so is that derailed or is that still on a track? You just crash into the site. Oh, you leave those engineers. No, you need a knob. All right, anyway, that was fun. We're going to we're gonna leave the pink one going up. That's sort of our timer. I got a few other things I want to try out because look what I've just found in here. There's a musical note bell. So if I were to just do some straight track, put a train on at the end, then we can see what notes we want. So we can do a C, then a D, then E. And hopefully when we play... The oh, I've just noticed in the background. <laughs> the carriages are still spawning at the back. There's still loads of engineers to go up there. Like from here, like look how far up the train has got already. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, this train is called Guess the Tune. Uh, and it's a gingerbread train. So this should be quite nice. So are you ready? All right. So guess the tune. Oh, yeah. Did you get that one? Did you get it? <laughs> anyway, the other thing I, I spotted was this called a booster. Now, not going to lie, quite intrigued how this works. So if I just shove them along this track... Is it just going to give us loads of speed? Because I can put a ramp in sort of like that and then like that. And then perhaps put a Jenga tower at the edge. Oh, no. Oh, no. It didn't like being placed on the edge. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, it didn't destroy the other two blocks. Let's see what happens. We've got the boosters on. Boosh. Oh, that was beautiful. It's, it absolutely destroyed everything. Right. Well, now I'm wondering, is there like a max speed? So if I were to place a bit of track like that. And just do a corner, a straight, corner, straight, corner. You got the world's simplest track. Then if we put boosters on these, and then a train. Oh, it's going already without me. We can add some cargo. And the longer it is, the more boosters it's touching. There we go. We'll rename this Godspeed. Make it bright red. And we'll quickly jump in, wang up the old power. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's getting faster and faster. Oh, we may have crashed into ourselves. Is our length increase or something? Whoa, yeah, we are. We're crashing into ourselves. So, you know, like the Concorde, as it approaches, like, the speed of sound, like, uh, it, it gains, like, an extra two foot of length or something. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here, right? All right, so let's remove carriages. Oh, no, the game won't let me remove carriages. <laughs> I feel like I might have broken it earlier. Oh, well, don't worry. I have a fix. I'm just going to send it that way. Yeah, see you later, sucker. All right, then we just put another train down. Well, this one, the Godspeed 2.0. Then we start driving as a single carriage. Uh, oh, God, which is quite quick. I feel a bit dizzy. So that is going around nicely. I think we'll add some cargo to it. Oh, yes, that's getting a lot quicker now. Oh, and it seems like the speed does have a limit. I thought it was going to go to affinity. Anyway, meanwhile, the pink train, it's... Oh, dear. What has happened up there? Now, at this end, we've still got carriages spawning. They've still got engineers in as well. But uh, let's head up here. <laughs> what has happened? Did you derail me? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm starting to see why my mom didn't let me have one of these toy train sets when I was a kid. Anyway, I sort of wonder, as this comes down, am I going to be able to, like, build a track that it lands on? I think that's in the right place. So are we going to catch it? Are we going to catch it? Oh, no. <laughs> come on, come down the slope. Come down the slope. That's perfect. That is perfect. Oh, you knob. Well, things may have got out of hand. I feel like that escalated pretty quickly. Unfortunately, the pink train is no longer traveling upwards or downwards. Uh, we didn't even spawn all the carriages. So, <laughs> yeah, overall, I had fun. It's just a shame I had to wait 33 years until I could build my own railway track. Because uh, I think things got a little bit out of hand. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and pancakes. Bye, guys.